baada ya hotuba ya kiongozi wa ODM Raila Odinga kule ukambani wakati wa mazishi ya Kalembe Ndile uh, hiyo story yake imekuwa ikitrend sana uh, baada yake kumtaja Kalonzo instead ya kumtaja Kalembe Ndile kule Twitter tayari wanasema kwamba wenda Kalonzo ndiye ambaye anayefuata kwa sababu ya hii video hapa ambayo uh, Raila Odinga alikuwa akitoa hotuba yake wa county council ya ya ya, ya, ya kibwezi makweni kwa hivyo Kalonzo ni mtu ambaye sorry Kalembe amefanya kazi muhimu zaidi nimeleta risala ya rambirambi kutoka kwa rais wa Uganda msemaye Yoweri Kaguta Museveni Museveni alijua Kalonzo kwetu kule Bondo Sorry. Kalembe kule Bondo walipokuja kunitembelea wali... sasa kule Twitter <laughs> Watu wanazungumza vitu mambo tofauti tofauti kuhusiana na hiyo hotuba ya Raila Odinga wakati huo huo wakizungumza pia mambo tofauti tofauti kuhusiana na Kalonzo wa Musyoka ambapo nikianza na comment ya James anasema uh, maybe Kalonzo is next sorry i was saying okay mwingine mm, hapa anasema this jamaa wa mnasema hapa iko shida mwingine anaitwa nyakach anasema wewe haus, wewe hu, uh, husahau okay e, mbaya lavuna anasema man is old lorenz anasema raila is too young to retire um, marokingare anasema so according to baba kalonzo ni hayati <laughs> jamani kenyans wako fani sana Uh, J Protich anasema Raila buried Karon, Kalonzo not Kalembe. Kwa hiyo Raila alikuwa ameenda mazishi ya Kalonzo sio Kalembe. Okay, mwingine anasema uh, he is reuniting with Kalonzo if you had uh, their uh, speeches uh, thus uh, the obsession with uh, the name Kalonzo. Okay, Mkenya Andes anasema <laughs> Uh, for me I won't judge him because he was close to Kalonzo and they were uh, conversing kwani uh, wewe haujawahi eat him twice na si yeye hey, kwa mazishi jamani unaita mtu twice okay uh, wainaina anasema maybe it was uh, a accord, coded message that Kalonzo is politically dead mwingine anasema man is old kwa hiyo <laughs> Kalonzo kwa siasa anyway Mm, Timothy anasema lies. <laughs> anasema Raila alidanganya at lies. Museveni can't send Raila. Do they even talk lies that can't bind? Okay. Abedan anasema wacha tu. Unasema baba is always right. Kalonzo sorry. Hey. Kwa hivyo baba yuko right na kile ambacho anakisema. Anyway. <laughs> Kangara Kano anasema hizi hii ni kazi ya jubilee. Mwingine anasema Memory Kaput anaitwa Baya. Ah uh, Kangethe anasema kila Kalonzo twice. Uh, Joe anasema wa la 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 la. la. Okay. Uh, Baba Laki anasema wo oh, yeah, this man lost memory. Campus Dropout anasema it's time to retire. Yeah. Mm, Jesse Gitao anasema the guy must be lying. Mm, kanudhu, kanudhu, kadhungu kadhungu anasema this is worrying. Kinudhi anasema that's a bad mistake, okay? <laughs> Vincent anasema mm, old man already eulogizing Kalonzo. Dennis anasema hizo rambi rambi zinakaaje. <laughs> Mwingine anasema okay. Mm, Senately is real. Okay. Mwingine anasema amepitisha masaa ya kafiu. <laughs> uh, Chebeta anasema mzee kuisha. Uh, Jameson anasema maybe early stages of uh, ditamenia uh, uh, baba ameze dawa mhm uh, kikada nasema kama huyu ndiye reggae soloist then reggae is no reggae uh, okay there is no reggae sorry uh, mwingine nasema said nothing 
Richard anacheka Kelgot Bernard anasema he might even uh, he, he, he might have given wrong information to president Museveni mimi nasema anaitwa Amo anasema Kalonzo be careful labda anasema huyu mzee hana memory tena ha, hajui tofauti ya Kalembe na Kalonzo mimi <laughs> nasema uh, mapadri wana watoto siku hizi okay just anasema just as an anasema forgive baba it's like he forgot who he was burying <laughs> mpm anasema umri umesonga but he is okay kila mtu anaweza fanya mistake uh, detorish anasema mzee raila is worn out completely let him just retire mm, fair play anasema baba is going nowhere eh? kwa hiyo baba bado yuko uh, game anyway Uh, hayo ni kati ya maoni ambayo wa Kenya wanayatoa uh, kule mitandaoni kuhusiana na hiyo hotuba ya kiongozi wa ODM Raila Odinga. Kumbuka yalikuwa ni mazishi ya Kalebe Nile ambaye alifariki wiki iliyopita mm, na ni kifo ambacho kiliwagusa watu wengi sana ikiwa pia baba ametumwa na uh, rais wa Uganda Yoweri Museveni Uh, basi inamaanisha Kalembe Ndile alikuwa ni mtu ambaye maarufu mtu ambaye alijulikana zaidi kwa vitu tofauti tofauti ambazo alikuwa akivifanya japokuwa wengi walimsifia kama mtu ambaye alikuwa mchekeshaji uh, wengi wakawa wanamsifia kila mtu alikuwa anamsifia vitu tofauti tofauti kuhusiana na kazi ambayo alikuwa akizifanya Kwili hapa amenitumia comments nyingine hapa anasema if anything happens to Kalonzo we already have a suspect okay <laughs> do jamani mimi nasema a slip of the tongue it happens mostly uh, to out okay hiyo sitasoma uh, raila is old he should just retire in politics unadhani raila anafaa ku retire kwa politics kulingana na watu ambao wengine hapa naona wakisema kwa sababu naona kuna watu ambao wanasema raila anafaa ku retire kwa siasa umri wake umesonga sana. Sijui Raila ana umri upi, labda ni 85 kwa sababu naona watu wakizungumza uh, kuhusu miaka 85. Kuna huyu ambaye anaitwa Samsam ambaye anasema Raila is a 85 years old in reality and uh, it, it is understandable. Hiyo ambayo nilikuwa nimeisoma. Okay, mimi nasema Prezo alisema kitambo na hakuna mtu anayeongelelea. Okay, kwa hiyo kumaanisha kulikuwa pia na ya rais ambayo ali, ali shrub. ni kushrub au ni ulimi ni slide. Lakini hakuna mtu aliyezungumzia hilo. Uh, lakini kila mtu na maoni yake. Na labda jana ilikuwa ni siku ya baba uh, kutrend uh, baada yake kufanya hicho ambacho alichokifanya. Lakini ndio hivyo, inafanyika mara nyingi. Lakini sasa kulingana na vile ambavyo watu wanaichukulia inakuwa vitofauti kidogo. Lakini Baba ni baba na tabaki kuwa baba kulingana na wengi na basi ndio hivyo jamani hebu niambieni baba anafaa kuretire kwa siasa au bado ni kijana kuna wale ambao wanasema uh, he should retire kuna wale ambao wanasema basi uh, alikosea tu na ni makosa ambayo huaga yanatokea mara nyingi lakini kulingana na we mtazamaji wa Swift Media unadhani au unachukulia vipi au kuna maoni gani Ebu niambieni hapo kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini subscribe kwa ajili ya kupata updates na taarifa mpya kila wakati.